Thank you very much, Chair. Um, we've always had uh, pressures on our budgets ever since I've been a councillor. That's not very long. Obviously, some people have been there longer than I have. And we've always been cautious and we've always been risk averse. And I think it's very clear from what I'm seeing that in November, we were I understood there was a risk at the being able to provide the services to the leisure facility at nil cost. And there was nothing done about it. There was no conversation with anyone. We are a very able group of people in this chamber and we have a lot of contact. So I think that if there'd been an open conversation, we would have been uh, able to find a solution. I understand this isn't addressing the budget completely, but I do have concerns. I listened to the cabinet meeting on Tuesday. I was here for some of it. And I'm hearing tonight that the members are all defending their budgets, which is quite right. You should defend your budgets. You should be <coughs> proud of them. But Mr. Smith, you mentioned that uh, a, a family could walk in, a family could walk out, so we could end up with some savings. You know, we need to stop looking at all the downsides and say, how can we do this? Now, I'm not supportive of funding private companies, but we've just bought some refuse trucks, which will be for use somewhere. You know, it's a yin yang, whatever you want to call it, funding. So you can write the story however you like. I'm feeling that from what I'm hearing tonight, that there's actually a vote of no confidence in the leader from the members of the cabinet. Thank you.